let's say that we have 982. And we're going to add to that 171. All right, so we're going to put a plus sign. We're going to add them up. We do the same process as before. We go in the right column, 2 plus 1. You all know, start with 2, add one more, you get to 3. So a 3 goes in this column, OK? Now we have to add 8 plus 7 in this column. So start with 8 in your mind and go up 7. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we land on 15. 8 plus 7 is 15. So we put the 5 down here, but we can't put the 1 because it's, it's a two-digit number, so we carry the 1 into the next column up above. So now what we have is 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 1 more is 11. So 9, then 10, then 11. So we have 11, and so we have a two-digit number, which is 11, and both of those digits go down here. We don't need to carry because there are no, many, no, no other columns in the front. So 1153 is 1,153, and that's the final answer. All of these problems will just be doing the same process, getting practice as we go. Now what if we have 681, and we're going to add to that 935. Start in the right-hand column. 1 plus 5 is easier to really think about it as 5 plus 1. You all know 5 plus 1 is 6, so we put a 6 in this column. Now what is 8 plus 3? Start with 8, go up. 9, 10, 11. We land on 11, but that's a two-digit number, so we can't put them both down here. We put a 1 here and carry the other one to make 11 into the other column. Now let me show you the easiest way to add this column. You already have a 9, so plus 1 is 10. And you know that 10 plus 6 more is going to be 16. So put the 6 here and the 1 right in front for the 16. There's nothing to carry. There's no more columns. Now if you don't remember to do that, 9 plus 6 just go up from 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So here we get 15 plus 1 more is 16. So the answer is 1,616. 1616. All right. Let's take a look at 823, and we'll add to that 457. Put a plus sign, draw a line. Now, in the right-hand column, you have 3 plus 7, but it's easier to start with the larger number in your mind, 7, and go up. 8, 9, 10. 7 plus 3 is 10, but that's a two-digit number, so we have to draw the 0 here and carry the 1 to the column over. Now we have to add these numbers. It's easier to start with the bigger number, 5, plus 2, go up, 6, 7. So 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 more is 8. And so we just put the 8 in this column. Now this column, let's start with 8 in our mind and go up 4. Here we go, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 8 plus 4 is 12. There are no other columns, so we can just put the 2 here and the 1 right next door. 1, 2, 8, 0 is 1,280. That's the final answer. All right, let's just get some more practice. What if we have 200? 57, and we'll add to that 147. So start on the right. What is 7 plus 7? Start with 7 in your mind. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We land on 14. 7 plus 7 is 14. It's a two-digit number, so the 4 goes here, and the 1 goes in the column next door. So here's the easy way to add this column. You have a 4 and a 1. That's going to make 5. And you all know that 5 plus 5 is 10. So you know the answer is going to be 10. So we put a 0 here and carry the 1 over here. Now this one's easy to add also because we start with 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 more is 4. And so this answer is 4. 404. All right, great. Moving on. What if we have 800? and 62, and we'll add to that 313. All right, so we add 2 plus 3. You probably know that that's 5, but if you don't, start with 3 and go up 4, 5. So 3 plus 2 is 5, and the 5 goes in this column. Start with 6 and add one more, you get to 7. That goes in this column. Start with 8 and add 3 more. Start with 8 in your mind, go 9, 10, 11. 8 plus 3 is 11. There are no more columns to carry, so we just put the 11 right down here. 1175. 1175. All right, great. Let's move along. What if we have 586, and we'll add to that 329? So we start in the right-hand column. It's easier to start with the larger number. 9 plus 6. Start with 9. Go up 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
So nine plus six is 15. So then we put the five one down and we have to carry the one over here. We can't put a two digit number down uh, there. We have to split it up. Now, here's the easiest way to add this. Eight plus two is 10. So eight, then nine, 10, then one more is 11. So, or you could start in your mind, eight, go up nine, 10, and then the 10 here plus one more is 11. So the 11 goes here, but we have to carry a one because it's a two digit number. We have to write one digit here and carry the one to the next column over. So what do we have here? Five plus three, go in your mind, five, six, seven, eight. So five plus three is eight, but we have one more. So actually we have nine. The answer is 915. Great, only a few more problems. What if we have 541 and we'll add to that 693. The right hand column is very easy. Three plus one, you already know that that is just four. Now in this column, nine plus four, start with nine in your mind, 10, 11, 12, 13. We land on 13. So it's a two digit number, we can't write it there. We have to put a three here, carry the one to the next column over. Now, what is six plus five? Start with six in your mind, go up seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So six plus five is 11, but we have one more, which is 12. So we put the two here, there's nothing, no column to carry, so we just put the next digit next to it, and the answer is one, two, three, four, which is 1,234. All right, only a few more problems. What about 153 plus 814? Start in the right column. Four plus three, start with four, five, six, seven. So four plus three is seven, the seven goes here. Five plus one, you just add one, that's six. And eight plus one, you go up one from eight, which is just nine. So we get into 967. Only two more problems. What about 893? And we'll add to that 209. We add them and we go in the right column. Start with nine in your mind, and go up three, 10, 11, 12. So we land on 12, but that's a two digit number. So we have to put the two there for the 12 and the one, that's 12 written like this. Now, what is nine plus one? That's 10. Then you have to add zero more, so you don't add anything else. So it's just nine plus one is 10, but that's a two digit number. So you have to write the zero here, carry the one to the next column. So eight plus two, you should probably remember eight plus two, nine, 10. So eight plus two is 10, plus one more is 11. There are no more columns to carry to, so we put the one and the one right there. 1,102 is the final answer. And this is our very last question, 647, and we'll add to that 586. Seven plus six, start with seven in your mind, go up eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13. So we land on 13, seven plus six, is 13, but it's a two digit number. So the three goes here, the one gets carried to the next column. What is eight plus four? Start with eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Eight plus four is 12, but one more is actually 13. Again, it's two digits. So we have to do a three and carry a one to the next column. Now, what is six plus five? Start with six and go up seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Six plus five is 11, but we have one more from here, which is 12. So we put the two here and the one goes right next door because there are no other columns to carry to and you get one, two, three, three, 1,233. So I hope you can see that adding three digit numbers is just one extra step from adding two digit numbers, but it's not any harder. It's the same exact process. We just have to carry it to one extra column. So solve all of these, make sure you understand how to get these answers and follow me on to part two where we will get more practice with adding three digit numbers. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.